Belgrade beat. Bam! Okay, I need to introduce myself and introduce this guy. Yeah, Zvuchny okay. Zid, Belgrade beat, together this at is last. Eric Muth from the Worldly Savages. Worldly Hello, Savages, Eric. 2017, shutting out to the world. How are you doing, Sergeant? Yeah. I'm very good. I'm very right. good. Yeah, I'm doing fantastic. I'm yeah. Doing yeah, pretty good. It's summer finally in Belgrade. We're in yeah. Cetinska parking lot where somehow clubs have mushroomed around the whole parking lot here. Somehow last year this happened. Yeah. And uh, there's music from all sides right now. You're playing here? I Maybe. played a couple of weeks in Polet over there. You oh, know? Polet. Hey, you know, nice little acoustic gig, nice atmosphere and stuff like that. Just me and Alexander, my guitarist. Okay, just uh, for the record. For the record. Eric uh, and uh, the guys who play with them uh, are playing some interesting music. He's a Canadian uh, Yeah, uh, I'm German? from Canada. Yeah, I'm some? a Slovak-German-Canadian Slovak yeah. who lives in Belgrade. Slovak-German-Canadian-Belgradian yeah. is yeah. my ethnicity. That's mess in your head, prepare, you know? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, it only messes with other people's heads. Okay. I mean, it's how, how can this man have so many ethnicities? Well, fuck it. I'm, yeah. I'm like, at the same time, the whitest man you've ever met. <laughs> no, no. Now, listen. Uh, Anyways. First, first of all, we, we need to talk about your music because we're audition. Okay. Our fans, it's, you know. Yeah, you, they don't know me. So, like, I, I yeah. thought, like, Eric and the Worldly Savages was a good band name. But now making my career in Serbia I th think it would be better to call it Eric and the Strani Kurats you know something okay. like that I don't yeah. know if I can say that on your channel you, you can cannot, beep it out but you're say already you, so. you can beep it out yeah of course we can do that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway so we make a mix beep. of beep. folk <laughs> and punk and you know it's like a mix between let's say folk punk and polka funk if that makes any sense you know like uh, we like to make a good time on stage so people can drink and dance we like to make sounds of the Balkans with a very dance all puncha 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 and sort of energetic rhythm these things that these beats that make you want to jump up and down and we travel all around Europe and make yeah. people drink and dance and have fun but there's also a motherfucking message in the music yeah, you know, talking about the feedback yeah uh, the, oh, the, the people who are listening people dance. when they listen yeah. to the music well, it tends to be... Are they about jumping? Yes, of course. Dancing, drinking, of course. Yeah. Of yeah. course. If they weren't, I, I would, wouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> you know, if, if, if it wasn't like these shows just happen and, and you have one out, you know, all this hard work in music. Music yeah. is the hardest job I've ever had, you know? Yeah. Everything else is easy. Every other business I've done, easier. But music is hard. So if it wasn't for at the end of the day, when I'm on stage for that one hour and I'm feeling this tribal connection with the audience and all this stuff, if, that would be nothing. That would that would not yeah. be worth it. So so yes, people are jumping and dancing, coming up and uh, and you know thanking me after the show, you know introducing me to their sisters and you wow. know so. This is the greatest part <laughs> of the game. <gig. laughs> yeah yeah yeah. That, for that one hour and and the couple of hours afterwards when you're like, that was good and you get drunk, that it's all worth it. Okay. All we the hard work. Yeah. Well, uh, we're still in your music. Okay. So what's new? You prepare some new songs? Uh, yeah, uh, so what's new? The v album uh, Culture vs. Destiny, which is uh, recorded over the last three years with uh, Dutch Belgrade based producer Casper Weinberg, is finally coming out this summer. Culture vs. Destiny has eight this songs. This summer? Yeah, Culture four of which Destiny. I've been making videos. Culture vs. Destiny is an exploration of the human being versus the culture they are raised in and getting outside of all that. It's a big theme in my music and the message is essentially, you know, you, you need to escape, you need to see the world and all this stuff and you need to find this way of going past your circumstances and all this. Anyways, that's coming out, you know, that's coming out. It's going to be great. Um, I've already made four out of the eight tracks have videos that are already on YouTube. Really? That you can see, yes. Yeah. Okay. So go to Worldly Savages YouTube or just go over to Eric Tachkarusa. No, sorry, this is your camera Eric, right now. Okay, you Eric, yeah. Eric.rs Eric .rs is, is my website. It's a Serbian domain. And you can check out all the videos there. And um, I think you'll find it's a fun music with a message. And in my lyrics, I try to put a lot of soul and talk a lot about a lot of things that matter, matter to me and a lot of people I know. About being confused about life, about having hope for better times, about, about you know wanting to escape from yourself, about wanting to go and travel the world and see different cultures. And I put that all in the music. Yeah. And I have already begun work on the next album which is a concept album which tells a story that fits into this whole framework of somebody who lives in a boring western business city and yeah. all they do is go to work and eat their microwave dinners and how they break free from that and then go and discover the world and and then discover that they're confused about that. So it's like a follow-up album to Culture vs. Destiny which I haven't named yet but it will 
tell the whole journey of someone who broke free from their culture and got confused, and then you see what happens after that. It's basically loosely about my life. But We're switching off. <laughs> you can, you can talk, talk, talk without the breath. I noticed that. I'm a singer. I am, of course. Do what you do you want to ask? What's no. next? No, no, we, we talk about it in the off record that you're doing your YouTube stuff. Yeah, Belgrade yeah, Beach. Explain, explain Belgrade what Beach. is it. Yeah. Belgrade Beat is in English language. You can speak from the Serbian language. Yes, yes, yes. But no, no, no. On YouTube, I only speak from the English language. I think that it's the most important thing. My message comes much better in English to Serbia because I am a foreigner living here and I see so much potential in all the people here. I so much, see so much potential in people here applying their skills to the digital economy. And I see so much potential in all of this uh, stuff like... Uh, you know, how this place could become so much better, even though it's all really awesome already. I mean, and I really like spreading this message on this channel, Belgrade Beat, and telling all the people what my perception on Serbia is to give a breath of fresh air. I do that in English because I can give them the benefit yeah. of my eloquence, of my able ability to explain myself in my native language. And I find that Serbs, when I, you speak to them in Serbian, they give you Serbian mentality full on, but when you speak to them in English, they think about what they're saying before they say it, and you give yeah. them this message in English, and and it's like becomes more international, and it's easier to give them new ideas in English for me. So and that's, you're a multi-talent. Yeah. Yeah, I also run an IT business. Yeah. Yeah. So did the guy? It's not not just music. It's everything. It's yeah. multimedia. Yeah. Man, yeah. It's know? everything. So, it's everything. Yeah. Is like all the time, everything, non-stop meetings and discussions and problems and solutions yeah. and. But the thing I feel the greatest passion for is when I go on that stage in front of a crowd of people and I get them jumping and dancing and screaming. So I yeah. wish it was a bigger part of my life right now, but we're going at the end of the month to Romania for one festival. Then we get on an airplane and we'll fly to play a festival in France the next day. And then in August, we're going to the UK and the Czech Republic for some Really? Good luck. With touring that, around there, yeah. Good luck, yeah, there's and good stuff. Yeah, I wish that there were more places to play around here you know that had like you know yeah. at least a good sound system so i could but you know unfortunately the music scene here is developing very slowly yeah this is my next question about music scene here yeah what is your opinion my opinion is there's lots of hard work to do um there's lots of educating the audience to do on what to support you know if, if the same same five bands are playing beer fest every year and the same and the same like uh five foreign bands are headlining exit festival yeah. every three years like the prodigy exit festival all the time then you really need to educate it comes from making a system for having talent here a lot more um developing talent here finding these kids who have a guitar have a message have a feeling in their heart write some nice songs and putting them together with a band making good recordings good videos getting them online getting the world to see them and making a scene of people who actually go out to the shows to support these young artists making the club where they can play and have a good sound system it's all lots of hard work and unfortunately it's not as developed here as it is in other country countries but i think yeah, yeah i think it, it has a lot of potential here because nobody's doing it if you if you manage to find some way to make a concert series that every thursday night in belgrade you knew that you could go to this small club of 200 people and there would be a new fresh band either from another country or from the local s regional scene and that that would be good yeah. then I think a lot of people would go to this sort of concert, but it doesn't really exist right now. Mostly the live music scene in Belgrade is dominated by cover bands, which is, it's, it's, like, it's like the McDonald's of, of music, you yeah. know? It's yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in one part I'm sure with you, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, you're totally right. But on the other side, we have a lot of uh, small bands, uh, the great bands they playing in this, this place, Electro Pioneer, like yeah. great gigs, you know? Okay. I okay, but uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't been to a gig there, so I don't know. But I, so you, I mean, my, my, it's my like uh, advice to go an electric pioneer, not now because it's yeah, summer yeah. and yeah, hot, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But you should see these young guys who are like uh, 90, 18, 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. years. No, 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 they're no. playing very good. I, the young know. generation of musicians yeah. in Belgrade, I believe in them. I've met some young young musicians here like under the age of 25 and these kids are nailing it they're watching YouTube learning how to play the best bass guitar learning how to play the best drums yeah. and I think that once these kids get their stuff together and find the songwriters 
and uh, band leaders that have the message and the stylistic direction that they're not just copying stuff from America or something. And once these kids get their original thing, then maybe in five to ten years you could have something as good as the Yugoslav music of 80s and 90s if they can find their message and find their way of expressing themselves. But, you know, I, 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 I haven't, you know, and but we also need the machinery. We need the way of turning that that young band into something that the whole region is going to see and yeah. and idolize and that's going to touch the people's hearts and make them feel like they they are a part of a scene what we're missing is the scene there might be lots of great young talented artists but what, where's the scene that's going to make them international stars that's the question yeah yeah so when you do like what more, am I gonna more, more, uh, yeah, yeah I'd like to get a sound system where you know like a sound system which is essentially we're doing and go around all the city to all these old cafanas where they have like you know the beer no, for a hundred and twelve right now you know, you no can, no no but really, th yeah. there's lots of empty there's lot what we have in Belgrade is lots of space lots of empty unused space which can be kafanas, bars restaurants all around town and if you just have a sound system you can go to all these places plug it in set it up and make some way that young bands can play in interesting places around the city. That's what I would do. It's not about one club. It's the 21st century. It's about getting the message out on social media, where the party is tonight, and people going there. There needs to be more of that sort of scene, connecting with the internet, broadcasting live, all that stuff. Yeah. And that's how you build the scene of the future. Man, Eric, you're, you're so honest, and yeah, you're, you're very... Yeah, I've got way I too know. many ideas. Yeah, yeah, of course. I so, wish I had time, like, you know, I... I yeah, I, we, we probably gonna have more time next time, you know, in the studio, and uh, probably you're gonna talk with some musicians yeah. and people from this, uh, the scene and the guys from the restaurants or the coffee uh, clubs, right now. Yeah. So you can talk with them about that, because this is a really, really... Big yeah, and, and here, if anybody's yeah. interested in this idea, write me an email at erik at erik tachkarusa, and it's just like uh, you know, like if someone wants to work with this on me, I'm happy to help. You know, so yeah. anything I I need people who are willing. The most important thing about music is people have to be willing to work hard for it, accept a lot of fucking rejection and a lot of pain and struggle along the way for those small moments of glory that build uh, you know a career yeah there's no gonna pain be no gain. video yeah there's gonna be viral video because <laughs> nobody says that you know, yeah show well. because every said every says like uh, it's okay it's uh, like we're building up our scenes we are I don't know so and, and people energy, so. don't be afraid I mean if you have any money at all and you want to spend on something valuable if you want to see a band if you're curious please if the tickets 500 dinars spend that 500 dinars if you know it's going to the musician and help the bands, help the young bands, because, you know, otherwise the only way that we can have festivals and clubs and all this stuff is, is if beer companies pay for it. It's the only way musicians can get money in this country, basically, is if beer companies and supermarkets and mobile phone companies sponsor the festivals that you are going to for free. So, I don't know. That's... Eric, you're talking very smart things here, <laughs> and, and thank you a lot. And yeah, thanks we'll a lot. See you, we'll see you next time. Yep. And Eric Muth from the Worldly Savages and the guy who, are, you know, Joy who is now rekao mnogo bitnih stvari koje drugi nisu. Da, to sam ja. Da. To je on. Eric da, to Muth, sam ja uvek. Worldly Savages. E, hvala. Pičku materinu. E, da. Vidimo se. <laughs> e, subscribe. Subscribe. Like, share. Like, share, subscribe. Belgrade Beat. The pulse of the city. Take me away, take me away from myself